Good morning, everyone. It is currently 421. Um, gotta sleep in a little bit today and slept until about 415. I'm gonna just make some coffee and then going to be heading to the gym to get a quick workout in before we start today. So again, just having you guys follow in an average day of what medical device sales looks like. Um, today we have in services, uh, just teaching people how to use our equipment at one of the hospitals. Um, we have some cases and then um, we're gonna be doing some cold calling. And yeah, see where the day takes us because every day in medical device is different and you have a plan and then somebody calls and that's a different plan. So we're just gonna go, but first, Get a little bit of coffee in us and then we'll get a workout in now i'm on my way to the gym but i just wanted to clear things up you know with me being a former personal trainer i used to have to wake up at 4 a.m for three years all the time to train clients i would have five o'clock class um so that's why i still wake up at four um it's new it's not new to me and you know this is to say you know if you're in medical device sales you don't have to wake up at four a lot of people don't wake up at four i wake up at four because i like to get my workout done at the beginning of the day because life hasn't started yet it's what i always used to say as a personal trainer right at 4 30 nobody's calling me to come out and uh, help out with an account or you know I'm not getting calls from any other people or have to go do things uh, it allows me to have me time like I just woke up at you saw 4 15 drink my coffee chilled read a little bit um, get to the gym about five I will just do a conditioning day today so I will be done by like 5 45 run home shower real quick and then we'll have our in-service at 6.30. So today's, uh, uh, it's a Monday, it's a chill day for me. And when I say chill day, I mean, I don't have 30 cases going on. I just have uh, an in-service, I have a case uh, going on, and then we will do some cold calling and also following up with a couple of my doctors and then just seeing where the day takes us. Again, with medical device, there's a lot of times that I get calls you know, at like, let's say it's 11 o'clock and they're like, hey, I need you to be here by 12 because um, we have this going on or hey, I need a, um, some supplies. So again, I do all this because I like to get it done out of the way. And then when I'm done for the day, I'm done. I don't have to worry about it because when I first started, I did wait till the afternoon, but there'd be a lot of times I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to the gym now at 530 something else would come in and now it's 7, 7.30 and now I'm trying to decide, hey, am I going to the gym? Because even if I don't work out in the morning, I have to wake up at five o'clock, 5.30 normally um, to go. So that's why I wake up so early, but we will go hit this workout and then we will get ready for our in-service to start our day. It is currently 6.20. We are walking into the hospital to do our in-service. So again, just going over what an in-service is. This is where I'll be meeting with uh, the circulating nurses or the nurses that would be in the room that would have to set up my equipment. And I'm gonna just go through, it's just a teaching day. I'm just gonna be teaching them how to properly set it up and answer any questions they might have that they see in their cases or that they have problems setting it up and trying to make it as easy as possible. Um, luckily I have a product that's super simple if you just read, but majority of the time that does not happen. Um, for example, I've gone into cases and they're yelling at me that my machine sucks and it's the worst thing they've ever seen and it, the setup's horrible. And then I'm like, did you read the top where it's all labeled? And they're like, no. And then they get mad at me about that. So again, just trying to make their life as easy as possible. Um, so we're gonna go do that. And then we have a case right afterwards. So I just got done with my in-service. It's about 7.15 right now. And um, today is the perfect example of you don't know what's gonna go on. So I do my in-service, right? And I tell, explain everybody that, you know, we're color coordinated one two if you can count to five you can do the steps that we have and you know i get done with the in-service and the nurse who's actually in the room today is like are you going to be there and i was like yeah i will be but you should be good i just did the whole in-service and asked if there's any questions she's like oh there's so many tubings and again we have four tubings um and so i just say this not to make fun or anything it's that's the reality you guys you we have our stuff color coordinated and we have 
written on the tubings where it goes to our machine that is color coordinated and tells you where to put this tubing. And I just did a 30 minute in service and people still don't know where it goes after I just did it. Um, so that's just the reality of the job. But with that, now I have a surgery at 8 a.m. So we're just waiting, but here's the perfect uh, scenario. This is why I work out early. This is why you have a day. So luckily I have a little bit open day today, but they just let me know, hey, the end service you just did at 6.30, we have another group coming in at 10.35. So you need to do that as well. So again, wasn't planning on it, wasn't told about it, but then it just popped up of, hey, you need to be here at 10.30. So that's just the reality of the job. And then also while I'm here, you got to make the most of it. So uh, one thing I do is I'll check the board of who's here today. So there's a couple doctors that I've been trying to get in front of that are here at the hospital. So I will be just going out, getting in front of them, introducing myself, showing my face to them. Um, so I, they know I'm the new rep in the territory and uh, again, start building a relationship there. So perfect example of what a day looks like, but we will go knock out this surgery, make sure it all goes well and then move on. So the case was supposed to go at 8 a.m. and our doctor just showed up. It is 8.45 and sorry, playing with my red hat, but so it's 8.45, so I'm a little light, but doctor is having me go second. Uh, they're doing a procedure before, so now it's wait for about another hour. Um, so between there, there's a doctor operating uh, in the same hospital. So I will be just going and trying to just introduce myself and say hello and then go back, be there for the case, and then have an in-service, um, should be following right after that case. And then from there, we will work on um, going into, I still have computer work to do, um, just some business stuff, and then also uh, checking on some accounts, possibly cold calling, just again, seeing where the day takes us, as long as we don't have any emails or calls come up. So that is the update and we'll continue to go we are officially done with the case and out in the sunshine with no mask which is nice um the case again just changing up on it so the case ended up going really long um i end up coming in last for the part of the uh, surgery and the surgery end up getting done at 11 o'clock it's right now it's about 11 15 11 30. so again just showing you guys i got told that the surgery was at 8 a.m you show up and then you find out you're going second and so just again parts of the life of especially just learning uh being a new rep and uh just making sure you're using your time wisely so while i was sitting there again i had a couple hours that i was just shooting uh emails out i was connecting with people i ended up talking with a couple of the staff which again for me was huge because i found out information about some doctors that go there and some of my accounts um, that I wouldn't have known. Uh, so again, just using your resources and your relationships to, to find things out. And then also was able to get in front of that doctor, uh, just introduce myself. Uh, we actually had a commonality. Uh, commonality. We're both from the Midwest. And uh, actually, she went to a college that I interned when I did strength and conditioning, so brought that up. Uh, again, my take on that is I'm playing the long haul game. Uh, first time meeting them. I'm not gonna go and push my product hardcore because me personally, I don't know them well enough. And if they see me, they'll be like, well, there's a there's the guy, he didn't even know my name and he's just being pushy and trying to sell me something compared to, again, I'm gonna be in this territory for a while. Like this is a career, it's not just a, a quick little job. So for me, it was just make that introduction, introduce who I am, uh, get a talk with her, uh, find out a little bit more about her. And then again, we got a, uh, I played basketball in college. We started bonding about um, one of the basketball players that went there. And so he's now in the NBA. So again, just getting to talk, uh, make myself a human to these doctors and not just a sales rep. Uh, so that was successful. And then I uh, was able to actually set up an email uh, uh, via Zoom lunch with an account in another uh, area for a possible sale. They reached out to me a while, um, a couple of weeks ago. They wanted to uh, get some of our equipment and they were actually gone uh, on vacation, the person I'm talking with. So shot a follow-up email. Again, that's super important in this position. You guys gotta be able to follow up, know who you gotta reach back out to. Uh, and because of that, was able to set up a uh, Zoom tomorrow, uh, going over quotes and what we're doing and what the possibility of us working together is. So again, even though it's 11.30 right now, uh, even though we were stuck in the hospital, it was super productive. And going off of that, I, I didn't do the second in-service because we were still in the case. 
So I will have to find out another time when I can come back and do that in service. But again, these are some of the uh, tips and things that go on on an average day uh, in medical device sales. Uh, again, it's it's you just never know what you're going to get. You just got to take it as you go. And then again, while you're in a territory or you're in an account, make the most of it. Again, for me, it was learning more about what doctors are going there on what days, um, what they like about it, and just things like that. And then also, if there is a doctor, getting in front of them, introducing, because for me personally, this is how I look at it, is if I made my introduction now, next time I can talk to them, they know my name, we can have a conversation, and then I can start asking some questions. But again, I'm me personally, how I like to do things is I'm going to see the doctor again. I'm here a decent amount. I'm not going to just say hello and then go right into my pitch, which I started doing right away when I first got started. And I'll be honest, didn't work out for me because if you think about it, here I am, I don't know their name. They don't know me at all. And here I am just trying to be pushy and go here compared to I'll see them again. And now they know who I am. And now I can start having a conversation and ask questions and, and, again, build that on that relationship. So we are done right now here at the hospital. We are going, I have computer work that I actually do have to do. And then um, we will go hammer that out. And then I will be calling on some accounts a little later. So let's go do that. So just finishing up a little computer work. It is about one o'clock now. So normally um, I won't go to an office between 12 and one because that is lunch hour. And for a lot of the accounts that I have, they close down at 12 to 1 or 12 to 1.30 sometimes. So that's when I come home, grab food, and then I also do my own computer work. So what I was working on today, I have like little assignments that I have to do uh, just for my territory. What's the week uh, looking like? So weekly planning activities, um, just putting in and then also submitting that quote, getting quotes all set up for the account that I'm going to be meeting with tomorrow. So I have prices that we can go over, we can talk about and then also working on starting to do some uh, lead generation for tomorrow. Uh, again, just going throughout the week when I have a little lighter week, uh, that's the time for me to go prospect, go talk to places. So right now I am going to finish this up and then we are going to head to an account with a doctor that I've been in touch with. They uh, wanted to trial me. Um, but we're just following up with them on that. So we will go do that now. Just getting done following up with that doctor's office. So basically what was happening is I did a lunch a while ago. The doctor committed to trialing it. Um, and then I went to the hospital the other day and she was using the competitor and not trialing us uh, like they said they were going to. So I had followed up several times, didn't hear anything back. And then again, followed up again. Uh, the reason you continue to follow up, always doing it respectfully though, um, the surgery scheduler emailed me, which I had been trying to get in touch with her over the last three weeks. When I walked in today, she emailed me right away and was like, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll make sure to let you know when anything happens um, and we'll get you scheduled for a next case. And then I just talked to, they actually got a brand new office manager. And so then got her information, said she's gonna talk with the doctor as well. So again, even if it doesn't work out, just always following up with your accounts um, because they say sometimes they'll do it and they won't, or sometimes they just forget people are busy. Uh, so that's why follow up is just super important. So I got my shotgun rider since it was just a quick, quick uh, stop. Figured he could get some air today. And then uh, we are gonna go call on one other doctor and then we're pretty much ready. Day up. is done. So we end up going to that second doctor, but nobody was there um, that I could talk with. It was just the front and they, uh, they were not interested. So again, you take it as it comes, but it is around 4:15. I came home and did a little bit of prospecting for the next day. Um, and I will continue to do that tonight. I just like to take a little break through midday. It's nice here and sunny. So I'm going to go get outside. Um, and then we'll do some prospecting tonight. Um, just for some accounts that I'll go hit up tomorrow cause it's a little open. And then also, um, got emails back about the accounts that I checked in on. So, uh, that's nice. Got my zoom link sent out. So just doing a little bit of the computer work this afternoon after I went and checked on all my places. So again, this is where I kind of talk about, you know, you got to know when to go, go know when to rest for me, you know, really after like four thirty, five o'clock, you know, most of my clinics are closing. There's not much more I can do in the sense of like talking with anyone that day. So I can just start prepping for tomorrow. And that's really how I get my day going. Uh, just have a plan on what I'm about to do the next day. So I can just hit the ground running is how I try to keep it. Uh, but again, this was just a normal day. The thing I want you guys to just see when I am making these videos is 
it just varies your day you have something planned and it changes and you you think you have a scheduled case and it changes you know i just got even got a text tonight hey are you going to be at this case while well, the hospital and the surgery schedule are messing up on who's supposed to be there um if it's supposed to be me if it's supposed to be another rep uh, from another company so just things like that that you'll deal with throughout the day um but again i always say this at the end of it love it it's fun uh keeps you on your toes you're going to be Working and again, you're gonna have weeks. Uh, like my teammate posted on LinkedIn, I shared that on my LinkedIn post a while back. Um, he talked about you know some weeks are gonna be absolutely crazy where you can't even breathe and you're gonna be going hard, and there's other weeks that you know you might be only having a couple cases a a day or one case a day, and then you gotta you gotta start growing your territory. You gotta be doing things. Um, again, my my goal being here is always you know what can I do today to help my territory next week, next month, next year. Um, again, future is what I think about it. And so again, if you're checking off today for me, it was, you know, talking with a brand new doctor that I haven't been in front of yet. So getting to introduce myself with them, doing an in-service, teaching the staff how to use my machine. So if they are by themselves, they are starting to get self-sufficient or um, even in the part of, hey, maybe there's an emergency case that added on. They're like, hey, who's machine or what uh, equipment should we use if they remember the in-service that I just did, maybe my equipment gets pulled. So again, just things like that, that can add up little wins. And then today, you know, having a meeting with a possible new purchase next tomorrow, um, or it could lead to a purchase here in the next couple of weeks. So again, slowly just moving uh, my territory. That's my advice to you. That's my advice to myself as well. Um, just knowing that it's not going to happen overnight. But again, you guys, I really appreciate you watching this. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day and, and just the support. You know, I made this, I get a lot of feedback on it. And again, I made this because when I was doing the research, I didn't see much of it. And again, I wanted to give it to you guys why I'm living it live. Like, you know, I'm six months in my industry. I'm six months into medical device sales. This is real life. I'm learning as I go. Um, and this is what an average day looks like for me. Um, and then Normally by nine o'clock, I'm an old man. I'm winding down for bed and trying to be sleeping by nine, nine thirty, uh, so I can wake up at four. So that's my life. Again, everybody's going to do it different. Each division is different, um, but in the division I am in, this is how it's going. And again, I've had a lot of success with my territory turning it around. So again, appreciate you guys liking. If you haven't, please press that like and subscribe button. If you guys are looking to search more, you can go to this playlist, New to Medical Device Sales. You can see all my podcasts that I put on. You can search me on LinkedIn at just Jacob McLaughlin. You guys can find me on Instagram and TikTok at New to Medical Device Sales. And then also, if you guys are looking just to learn more or, or see how I got interviews and uh, how I got four job offers from top 30 medical device sales companies, again, I made that ebook uh, that you guys can find at newtomedicaldevicesales.com or it's tagged in the uh, content um, or the info below in the description. And you guys can check that out. Again, I just list everything that I did to get hired, how to search uh, companies. I put my 30, 60, 90 day business plan in there as well, my outline for it. I put interview questions that I saw, interview questions that I asked, and again, just everything that I did to get four job offers from top medical device companies. And again, my goal is just to help as many people as I can. So hopefully you find this helpful and I will see you on the next one.